All right, let's play this in full. We will risk our lives, blah, blah, blah. Okay, done. I did my part. Cool. We will risk our... So this is your spline version. We will risk our lives, blah, blah, blah. Okay, done. We will risk... We will risk our lives... Seems a bit too conveniently done with this leg. I know this is a weird note, but if you watch that leg here in that turn and... We will risk our whoop, Where it feels like she would take a step. It feels like she would be stepping on this leg. I mean, you will know better, but it feels like this is the leg that is, is moving up here. So the hips would be a bit like this. And then she moves this leg back away from us to get into this position to give us a bit more weight on this leg and then she brings over that leg but this leg just kind of goes bloop bloop and stops versus um you know potentially imagine that leg goes maybe this leg would be down here and this leg goes maybe over and then down to settle and lean on that leg potentially this just seems a bit too con not so convenient but just kind of clean we will risk our so i would just look out for that little adjustment there and because of that if you're doing this and the leg goes over over the leg and it comes back down to settle you might also have a little bit of root over to the right and then back to the left just a bit oops sorry we will risk our lives blah blah yeah it just feels too clean as it's, it feels like this is a pose pop next pose into into what she's saying here. You can make this a bit more overlappy and organic. We will risk our lives, blah, blah, blah. Okay, done. I did my part. Rest is cool though. If I look at, I'm gonna turn the sound off here. Goes up. You might wanna go up. It feels a little bit like you go up this way versus a bit more of an arc. It's not so harsh. And you can, you can might even go like this with a bit of a hold, right? So if you go, up, what is she doing? And she goes back down. So it's basically, it feels like right now she goes up, stops, goes over there, then kind of comes back down. And you can go a bit more up like this in an arc, right? So it's not, it doesn't have that um, that type of feel. It goes over and then maybe even like this, we go like this and then down. Blah, 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 and then down. It's a minor thing, but since we're now in spline mode, I want to look at arcs and things. That'd be nice. But I do like your settle and how it has a bit of a keep alive and the moves. That's cool. Usually gonna, I usually go root first, just kind of see where we can make sure that we can push some things. And that's going to, you know, affect the rest over here. So, but I think that's pretty good. Looking at the chest move on something like this, where not that it's a big move away behind her, but I wonder if on this move here, and we have a little bit of shoulder up here, if there is all that movement of that arm, if we could push the chest for a bit more of a wire rotation following that arm. Very subtle. I'm talking subtle, like stuff like you have in here, where you can see how how there's a rotation in the pivot all over here, a little bit of move up, or even if you come down here, you have some good subtleties there. And I think we can push that a bit more just in the chest area through there. So it doesn't feel so separate. Because I'm, I'm seeing this go up, this go down, this go over, but then nothing really here. Besides, you know, the move over this way. There is there is stuff in it. I'm not saying there's nothing, but I feel like we could have a bit of a move in Y. That's all cool. That rhythm is good. There's a slight feel through there where this arm just feels like one piece, like one unit. It's where you might want to go a bit more in your arcs with a potential move with the wrist up a bit. That brings the bottle up a bit, a little bit of a pinky out. There's a little bit more detail on that moment. 
Or you can even have, you know, a bit more pinky and then on that drop down, the fingers might... These two actually might not straighten out completely, but be further out just on that drop and then go back into what you have here. It's almost like a re-grab, but not quite, just for a bit more of a flourish. That lean is good. I feel the weight on that shoulder. That's great. For this, I'm going to need sound. I'm just curious if this is too post to post as she goes down and then, sl you know, slide, head. You know, it's kind of, it's kind of feel like one, two, three. Uh, okay, done. I did my part. Yeah, but it's in the audio. It kind of matches there. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, done. I did my part. Okay, done. I did my part. Our lives, blah, blah, blah. Okay, done. I did my part. Uh, okay, done. I did my part. I wonder if you could just uh, loosen up the... Okay, done. I... I think that sharpness is good on done. But I think you can have a sharpness on done. How that is in the facial performance there on that jaw but then instead of that long hold here continue to go down with the with the uh the neck so if you track the the chin see it goes up which is nice and bam down and done and then it locks but imagine you're just softening that and it's almost like a moving hold down to then flow into that move that you have my here part. my part I did my part. I did my part. Just the Our lives, blah, blah, blah. Okay, done. I did my part. It's really subtle. Just a little subtle. So it's not quite as... Boom. That harsh stop. Okay, done. I did my part. Uh, okay, done. I did my part. Okay, done. I did my part. I'm really talking very subtle. So the thing that also happens here is that on your done, you're also hitting those brows. Okay, done. It just has a slight feel of pose to pose, even though this is overlapping and not happening at the same time. Okay, done. I did my part. Done. I did my part. I do like how you anticipate that shape here, though. Done. I did my part. Done. I did my part. And I think you can go, I did my part. It's, it's an extension of your mouth corners. I did my. I. I did my. I mean, you go out on that corner here. Hold on, this might not be super accurate, but I'm scrubbing here. I did my part. I I think on my. I would personally go out on my. Extend those corners. My part, and then on part you can go. What you have here, mainly so that you have a bit more contrast in the shapes. But then when you do that, you reduce your jaw up and down by like 30%. So what's happening now is you have a lot of chatter. And it's also a lot of where the jaw goes down, down, up over one frame. Like if you hit a jaw, there's a jaw direction change over one frame. And it's almost multiple times there. It, it gets very chattery. It's kind of like the skeleton chatterbox. Done. I did my part. This gets, not say stroby, but I think I did my part. We can play a lot of it in the shapes. I did my part. And reduce the jaw just a bit. Okay, done. I did my part. Done. I did my part. The other thing that adds to that. Done. I did. To that blockiness of blum, blum, is your, your, um, what's the word? The blinks. You're easing out of that. But it's these guys. It's like how you open up and it kind of stops. Also, watch out. It feels like you're, you have a bit of a, a freeze frame here. That lid seems to be in the same spot over those two frames. Little picky thing here, but I'll delete this. You can see here, kind of stuck that screen left lid. But I would ease into that a bit more if you can, a frame or two. And then when you close on that closing, ease out of that more. And then don't forget the squishiness in the lower lid. And then when you open here, instead of so big, again, ease out of that a bit more into that. The ease 
into this with the head raise is nice. But I think all of this, having those, I'm turning the sound off again. You got that head down lock and then you got your blinks that are a bit harsh and then you got your eyebrows, bam, they come down. All that gives it a bit too much of a, to me, kind of a clunky pose to pose feel. It's very subjective, but because you have all that nice subtlety, the head bobs, the arcs are nice. And again, I'm talking really, really subtle because you do want contrast. You don't want this thing to constantly move. And it's good to add a bit of a, I'm done. Does it have a bit of a sharp move? I'm not, I don't want to take that out, but it's really just sometimes even just one frame, like one, two, three frames of softness and easing ins and outs there here and there on parts. There's some great detail on the fingers though, as you transition into the hole. The only other thing I would say, the first thing that struck me is when I was watching this. We will cool, risk cool, our cool. lives, blah, blah, blah. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, done. I Just that moment. Done. I cool, did cool, my cool, part. Cool, 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 cool. And then this. That's the last thing that starts to feel too mechanical where... Not that they're in sync, but there's something about this elbow and this coming up. But mostly this being so isolated... Where I feel like, not that she has to bend herself all the way back and go gluck, 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 and down this down, right? But I think, you know, like 15% of that, where when she does this, have maybe a bit of an adjustment. Maybe, maybe the, the chin goes forward and brings the lip over this, a little bit of a head raise, maybe the head forward, a little bit of chest movement here, just something a bit more. This, that very end feels too separate, and this feels like a person pretending to drink where I don't quite feel the connection on here and that she's actually about to, you know, put liquid in here and drink. That's the only thing it felt like if I turn this off again, the sounds. Like, it's cool, cool, yeah, nice, like this, arcs, nice, all nice, and then, oh, what's that? That's kind of how I ended the shot with, hmm, that was weird. And it's just this, that end part. <laughs> nice. But then, of course, you have the awesomeness of the cap going. Oh, I love that stuff. Now, if I be picky, because of all that momentum, I will go. And on that turn, it still keeps going this way. And even on this landing a little bit more. So that at the end, it's about here. It's the only thing I would say. It's. It feels like it hits a wall or a magic magnet there and doesn't move right there. I love the detail. I'm a massive, massive fan of stuff like that. I know it's silly because we should concentrate here, but I love doing stuff like this. But all I would do is keep going with that arc so that on this turn, this imagine in a graphite, it feels like you're going and it's this, this harsh linear thing where you just stop. And I would go and really slowly ease in where the, the, the top is spinning. That makes sense, right? So during all of this here, spin, 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 drop and settle. It still keeps translating with a very slow ease in to maybe here. All right, that's it from me. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions either way. A like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.